I think where there's really interesting opportunity is that, and it's, it's the double-edged sword, right, of I think technology and speed of change in technology. So to me, I look at it and it provides incredible potential for innovation. I'm one of those people that believe things like pollution in our oceans, uh, carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, traffic congestion, human health and longevity, those things can all be dealt with and solved by technology. We have been resilient for centuries and, and, and I believe uh, in my heart that uh, we'll figure out a way to, uh, to first identify the problems uh, and then come up with solutions and we have been doing that uh, um, for centuries and I'm hoping that we will continue to do that uh, well into the future. That will lead to um, some challenges but a lot of opportunities whether it's opportunities for individuals, opportunities for uh, institutions, for corporations. Um, I believe fundamentally that uh, there is a, a way that we can continue to do good and do well. Um, um, and uh, and, I, and I, that's, that's my hope for the future. That we can increase the quality of life of mobility of, of people. Because if we increase the quality of mobility, we increase the quality of life, obviously, of people. And that is, for me, now we are in a once-in-a-lifetime situation that we can change and influence the mobility of the future, be it because new technologies are under development. I'm most excited um, about uh, the prospect of autonomous vehicles. Personal mobility is going to work totally different than it does today. Uh, so yes, this is a fascinating perspective and it means um, transformed cities altogether. Is there a future for cities? Yes, of course there will be a future and um, it's the way how we're going to manage it and there are big challenges coming ahead but um, I think cities will exist, it's are wonderful places where people can meet, interact, uh, exchange lots of things so uh, cities have a bright future but it will ask a lot of uh, management and and public debate and reinventing democracy and stay focused on the long-term issues so uh, yeah the future of cities is there a future for cities and then the answer is yes <laughs>